And let's turn to the aviation sector now. As the planned reopening of Nigeria's aviation sector on Sunday, the 21st of June, has been deemed impossible owing to many pending labor issues that are yet to be addressed by the country's authorities. Galaxy's Godfrey Oshemoge reports that this is the position of the Senate Committee on Aviation during an interactive session with union workers of the aviation sector. National President of the Air Transport Services Staff, Senior Staff Association of Nigeria and the National Association of Aircraft Pilots and Engineers made their submissions to the Senate Committee. For the airlines, that is, he has said rightly, most of them are not able to pay and most of them are treating our workers, particularly professionals, pilots and engineers, as modern day slaves. You just because you have engaged somebody, not giving recourse to labor laws that talked about redundancy, where you have a, a surplus to requirement of your operation. They are just re-engaging these uh, workers, giving them letters, uh, suspending their employment, or in some ways terminating it outright. As I speak to you, since in the last 70 to 70 days or so, we have been in series of discussions with employers. Some cannot even pay a dime to workers. They followed workers, asked them to stay at home, some without salaries, some on a half salaries, some on a quarter salaries, and this is not healthy for our industry. The trade unionists say the Federal Airport Authority of Nigeria also owes staff salaries. On his part, the chairman of the Senate Committee on Aviation, Smart Adeyemi, said it will be unwise to go ahead to reopen Nigeria's airport with all the pending labor issues unattended to. Now, fun in the last, uh, since the lockdown, has been running these airports irrespective of whether flights are coming in or not because we've had international flights coming in uh, on essential services, cargo flights have been coming in. So all the services that FAN was providing when the industry was, was running full circle is still being sustained. And the same FAN cannot afford to pay salaries and still sustain this activity. I do not see how we allow the uh, airports to be unlocked when you're telling us that some of your colleagues have not been paid for months or they were paid half salary. I mean, it should be societal to allow you guys to be to man the facilities if you are saying you have not been paid and you have been paid half salary. Uh, aviation is not where you tell the pilot to park on where, where you are sticking off. You know? So we must see how we can address this. Meanwhile, the committee called for bailouts for the operators as well as the aviation industry as a whole.